Hello, my name is Dr. Shambles, and today I'll be looking at uh, the new the new structure deck that's uh, that just came out in the east. Uh, it will take a while to come out on the west, but I de I decided to cover it uh, because I believe this is a very good purchase. So I'll be going over the three leaders mostly and what their strategies will be, and then I'm just gonna uh, try and defend. The idea of buying. I already decided to buy it, I talked about it a little bit in my how to invest in a deck video, but uh, this will be more focused to just kind of go over uh, the cards, but very, this will be a very quick video. Uh, if I'm being absolutely honest here guys, I'm just recording this video because um, I'm pumped up and I really want to record. I wanted to record the series, the new series that just that just came out. By the way, thank you so much for the love. You guys are helping me a lot. I have such a big essay right now to talk on the second episode and I'm super pumped, but I need to let that video marinate a little bit more, you know, let it sink in on YouTube a little bit more, but I really wanted to just get into the second episode. So to kind of control myself, I'll just um, record this video right here. This will help me uh, as well because, as I said, I'm going to buy the structure deck. I will tell you to buy the structure deck as well. I think this is very good for newcomers uh, that want to try the One Piece TCG. I'll be going over why. Um, and this is a way for me to do a research on the leader that I want to play from these three, which is the Ace. I'll get to that. Uh, before I go further, I just want to say sorry if you guys hear any background noise uh, through the video. So yeah, let's just get into it. So this is the new ultimate deck. The last ultimate deck that came out was the three leaders, which was with the art red purple law, which is the leader I play and love the most. Red purple Luffy and red purple kid. The new uh, ultimate deck that's coming out, I believe it will come out in April if I'm not mistaken. If I'm not mistaken, sorry. Um, and this is the three big brothers uh, ultimate deck. I believe this is almost a must to buy because not only do both of these, uh, all these three uh, leaders are already giving some results. Um, one of them, which is Luffy, is is pretty much revolutionizing the the meta on the east. And when he comes on the west, I believe he'll get even better. So. First of all, let's just go over the the effects and I'll just tell you where the synergy is uh, with these leaders. Uh, so, first we have the Sabo, uh, attach one dawn, activate main once per turn. You may add one of your characters with three or more and 7k power or more to the top of your life face up. Up to one of your character gains plus 2k power until the start of your next turn. Now. This already tells you that he will have synergy with the revolutionary army. I understand that it's not as good uh, if you don't have the Bellovetti effect to... Bellovetti discards a revolutionary card and just gives a plus 3k. Yeah, exactly, plus 3k to every single uh, character, uh, to three characters, sorry, on the field. And this makes it much easier to reach this 7k power. But he still has good synergy with the Revolutionary Army. So if you pick up this deck and you already have Bellavetti, you pretty much get the whole new deck for free because you can just play the Revolutionaries anyway and just change up the leader. So he already shows up to have some chemistry with the Revolutionary Leaders. Not only that, if you don't want to... If this is the very first product that you just bought, you can just use this deck. Every single one of these, um, the, the, sorry, every single one of these leaders use the entirety of the structure deck. Exactly. So, <laughs> so you pretty much already save up so much money by just buying one of these structure decks. But with this uh, uh, Sabo, you don't. If you get the Bellavetti deck, you can use him as well, and you can use another uh, variant of the deck, which is the just use the structure deck with some uh, straw hat cards, red straw hat cards on the side, which will be the red color part of the deck. This already showed to give some good chemistry. Already has four tops uh, on the east. Uh, not only that, he, he got the four tops by I believe it was. 
three decks you uh, no two decks with the revolutionary army variant and two with the, the structure deck slash straw hats variant so you can play either but this the best combo i saw or the most interesting one do keep in mind this is very new even on the east but i want to cover it just to study a little bit of what i'm going to get once this comes out in the west uh the one of the best combos i got is to Pretty much you attach a Dawn to Sabo, and when you have, where is it? It can be any of these. The Sabo, the Luffy, or the Ace. It's more with the Ace. The best combo is with, is with Ace. As you can see, it's already at 7k, but you can also do the same that you would do with Reliever Lucianary Army, which is attached to Dawn on Luffy. It will be at 7k, but this works extremely well with Ace. Because what happens is, uh, if you read the effect, on play, if you have two or less, uh, two or less uh, life cards, this character gains rush. This is absolutely insane. Let me tell you why. So, you play the Searcher, Searcher Ace, right here. This is the Searcher Kid Ace. Every single kid version of the card just searches up their, their uh, grown-up version. So, I'm not even going over all the, the effects. So what this happens is, you reveal a card from uh, one card from the top of your life. If that card is a Portuguese the Ace with a cost of five, uh, you may play that card. If you do, put one uh, up to one of your leader gains two uh, K power. Pretty simple, right? Here's the combo: you attach one Don, you play, you may play this or play the the two cost version. So what you do is. You do whatever you want to do during the turn, you attach one on, you activate the effect, but first what you do is you place the... Uh, so Sorry, 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 I'm getting ahead of myself. You attach one on, you play the key days, the key days will search the deck, will search your life for the ace. Don't worry, you will get to, to put that this ace on the top of your life with other effects from these cards that you get in the structure deck, so don't be afraid. You will be able to do this combo more often than you think. What happens is you play this from the um, from the top of your life, and then he has rush because what you want to do is you want to deplete your life to two. You play him from the top of your life, he gets rush, you make a 7k swing, then you use your effects to put him back and if you then you swing with it you'll get even more power to any of your characters you swing with everybody else and if you have another kid another ace you can just play another kid ace and just play again the rush ace and swing again normally what's gonna happen is you probably have the ace already on the field and you'll do the most uh, simple part of the combo which is you have this ace you swing with this ace uh, attach a Dawn to Sabo, do everything else, and then you just play one kid's ace and bring back this one from the life. If you manage to have two kid ace, you can do this more long version and better version of the combo, and if you have the Dawn, obviously. But this already makes it so you can uh, make pretty much at least one, one 6k swing Actually, no, one 8k swing and one and two 7k swings, or in the longer version, two 7k swings and uh, one, one 6, 6, 8, 8, and one 10 swing. So, these are insane numbers, which complements the yellow color because yellow is very has very big numbers on late game and two lives will be on late game obviously you kind of just accelerate it and this combo is one of the best combos i saw with sabo is this is just to tell you a little bit how the deck works or how this leader works pretty much what you want to do is you want to send back the cards to your life and then play them again uh, so you use your leader ability for that synergy for you to make sure that you see this ace or sabo or whatever so you can keep replaying the cards and so on and so forth because although the ace has the rush so you can make the second attack you can just put luffy uh you attach two down to luffy you swing with luffy make the combo again uh play the key Ooh, where is he where is there you go play the kid luffy and then you just go back to 
getting the Luffy and you put him uh, face up on the field again. So your enemy cannot attack it, right? So you swing with it, uh, send it to life and then bring him back up. But you cannot attack because he has no rush. That's the only thing, but it's a good way to protect your board. Or at least make your opponent use from one to two cards from hand just to get rid of one of your cards. Uh, so, as I was saying, to control uh, the life and what you see on top of the life, you have many cards. So, you can on play add one card from the top of your deck to the top of your life cards. Then look at your early life cards, place one card at the top of your deck and place the rest back in your life cards in any order. In any order. So, you, oh, many cards in this uh, deck rearrange your life. So, every time you want to do this combo, it will be consistent. Obviously, if you are playing the Revolutionary Army, it will not be as consistent. But what you do with the Revolutionary Army uh, variant is you don't use this to put a, a board on the left to then take it away again and just protect your board and be aggressive. You use it more for just a regeneration. So you, you swing with everything you want to and then you just use your effect to heal yourself and pass turn. Very simple, a much simpler strategy. You don't uh, need to rely so much on the structure deck or the searchers. And it's still actually very powerful. So this is the, the variant of Sabo. This is how you mostly, or mostly what I'm seeing people play Sabo. Is it pretty much you send the cards away to life and put them back on the field, or you just send them to life to regenerate life and, you know, eventually win the game because it's yellow deck, as you guys know. Um, next, it's Ace. Ace is the one I'll be uh, playing. Uh, no, he is... In my opinion, and from the results and the research I did, he is the weakest of the three. Uh, but uh, in my opinion, he's the most fun to play. I absolutely love him. Not only that, you don't need to invest as many cards as you would on Sabo and especially on Luffy. Pretty much, you only buy like what four cards from the blue color, and the rest, sorry, and the rest is all with the structure deck. So he makes he makes him uh, the most budget option, but um, a very good budget option. So, what does he do? Uh, you attach to Dawn, activate on main, once per turn, look at 5 cards from top of your deck and add up one character ca card with cost of 5 to the top of your life, uh, life cards face up, sorry. You add to the top of your life face up. Then place the rest on, at the bottom of your deck in any order. At the end of the turn, trash all of your face up life cards. Obviously, this... Uh, is to balance him out because I'm telling you, if this was not here, he would be the most OP from the three, but he's not. So, how does he go? I already told you, the, the only variant there is, is pretty much you play the structure deck. As you can see, the structure deck uh, is very focused on you uh, interacting with your life and using your life to build board instead of your usual hand. Pretty much your hand will search or rearrange your life and then you'll use these leader abilities to get what you need from life. So, what do you do? Uh, first up, you need to have any of the Kid Searcher. The Kid Searcher are the best cards in your deck, by the way, uh, along with their grown-up version. So, what you do is, you attach to Dawn. This is the simpler version of the combo. You attach to Dawn, you look at the cards in your on the top of your deck, right? The five cards. You put one of the grown-ups... Uh, grown-up uh, brothers on the top of your life that you have the kids version in hand and then it's very simple you then play the kid and obviously that kid version will get his grown-up version so this is a way so never the the kids ability never whiffs never so he has more control on on the ability he does not need as much done as the other leaders to control and use the life for board. But uh, the problem with this card is that um, many of these cards don't uh, specifically, don't make the deck more consistent. It just helps you a lot. because you, you The sheer quantity of search that you have, you will eventually be able to pull this uh, combo more consistent. You need to rely that you won't whiff every time you look at the top of your cards, right? But obviously that will still happen uh, if, be, even if you play four uh, copies of each of the grown-ups and the, and the kids version and so on and so forth. So this has the more potential to, 
two beef because remember if you don't if you don't manage to get a card the card from your life to your hand or onto the field uh, it will be trashed so you won't get value don't worry on opio 6 uh, there are cards that help you if this is the what i want to to get to i'm actually going going forth on my card market here because there are many cards that help you with this I just told you there are cards that rearrange your life, right? With Ace, the only cards that you get from outside of the structure deck are cards like this. Um, so in case you don't know the, the effect of this engine specifically, you may add one card from the top or bottom of your life cards to your hand. Add up to one card from the top of your deck. Uh, uh, sorry. Add one card from the top of your deck, exactly, to the top of your, lives, of your life cards. This will be face down. So what happens here is very simple. <clears throat> Let's imagine you whiff. The way you, you try to counter this weak, weakness, if you whiff, you put whatever card you need and you hope that you have cards like that one, like that Sanji, that pretty much when you play, or cards, for example, this white bud, which helps you take away that, uh, that face-up life card. You play cards like this, and then you take away the top life and you replace it for something else. Therefore, you will not be face-up, will be face down and you won't trash so it's a, a more complicated version of regen this is what what the weakness of this leader is and why i believe he's the weakest is because you have to go around too much to regenerate while the others they don't have this weakness of having to trash the face up life cards but again i saw uh, some duels of ace i still think is the most fun i mean there's some good combos i'm gonna tell you now though i already told you one and I told you another one, which is this Sanji, which is if you whiff, you can still keep your cards, keep adding cards to your hand and rearrange your hand even if you whiff. So you can play around even its weakness. So it's still viable. I'm very sorry if I'm I'm being a bit confused, uh, confusing. I'm doing this without a script. I'm doing this with my knowledge. So when I come back to this video, I can, I can see the knowledge I had today and uh, compare it uh, for in the future in my future me <laughs> now let's go to sorry for the train let's go to what i believe it's the strongest uh leader from the three and what i believe it's uh, well no i believe he's the strongest and he is pulling the best results pretty much it's almost confirmed that he is the best leader he also is the most expensive deck because of the black color variant uh, black colored cards are very expensive. We all know this if you're if you are beginning and don't know this I'm just warning you right now. He is the best leader, but if you want to do his to Build his deck you are going to spend a lot of money. There is some salvation for this though He, pl he does play some cards. I will just release on opio 6 when a set is released the cards are somewhat cheap so if you get the cards uh, before they go up in price, when the set uh, is no longer being produced and go, we go for OPO7 and so on, uh, you can save up some money, you know, who knows. But this deck also plays Borsalino and uh, Sabo, the blocker Sabo, the black uh, blocker Sabo, which are very expensive cards. So yeah, do keep in mind with that. Why is this deck so good? Why is it so good? What is the combo with this? This has incredible synergy with Gecko Moria. Uh, Moira. Am I saying it right? Moria? I'm just gonna say Gecko. He has extreme chemistry with Gecko, reviewing some matches. And this has good. The good chemistry with Gecko comes not only from Gecko, but with Rebecca as well. So, in case you don't know, Rebecca. I'm putting screenshots on the on the while editing the video, so I know you guys are seeing the cards. There you go, Gecko, Gecko more. This card, this card, this one. Uh, on play, choose one of your characters with the cost of four or less. Uh, Rebecca costs four, and up to one of your card with uh, with cost two or less from your trash. Play one card and play the other card rested. So we already see the synergy here, right? We already know where this is going. We already go know where this is going. Gecko Morik not only can um, revive the any of the kit versions, so you then can play up the grown-up versions from your hand. You can play the kit version, the Rebecca version, that can uh, bring back another kid's version, that will bring you another grown-up version, so this makes an incredible board feeling all the way. Not only that, let's... Um, let's... 
read the effect. Your face-up life cards are placed at the bottom of your deck instead of being added to your hand, according to the rules. This means if you have a, a, life, uh, a life card that's faced up and the enemy attacks and you take that life, the life will not go to your hand, it will go to your trash. This should be a problem, right? This should be a way to balance the leader. Well, guess what? Gekko Moria just brings it back. So this is no longer a weakness because you just need to wait for late game and play Gekko Moria or play Rebecca and you will eventually bring them onto the field so you get value either way. There's no way to not get value. And the other one is you attach to Dawn, activate main once per turn. You may trash one card from your hand. We already know this is not really a cost because you can revive it. If you have zero life cards, add up to two characters with a cost of five from your hand or trash to the top of your or to the top of your life cards face up. As you can see, the way he regenerates, he does not need to to put the cards face down like Ace, and he cannot just leave it on the um, like Sabo. But still, he it is a regeneration because what's gonna happen is, I, I already told you guys, they attack your life. Even if you regenerate two cards and the two cards go to trash, you still get value because Gekko Mori will revive him, Rebecca will revive them, so you're just getting infinite value and there's not really a cost to anything. <laughs> so yeah, obviously the balance here is that Gekko Mori is a very high cost card, he's an 8 cost. So do keep that in mind. Uh, but yeah, so this guy has insane board building, uh, insane, um, insane regen because he regens two at a time and not just one at a time. He regens two at a time, which then can be brought to the board building. Not only that, I'm not seeing this as much. I am warning you. But if you play a little bit more of the Gecko Moria deck. Um, the Gecko Moria deck, pretty much how it functions, is off the trash. You play cards from the trash and you get board wiping from the trash. So if you play more one or two cards um, from the Gecko Moria deck, you can get some board wiping in there. But most of the time what you want to do is you want to use the structure deck and then just play a Borsalino, which is a great blocker, and play a Sabo, which is a great blocker that lets you cycle out and recycle cards because, I mean, remember, you draw two and you trash two, right? But those two that you trash can... Sorry. Can can come up uh, later in the game anyways. So, yeah, you can play off the trash anyway. So, this is why I believe the, the deck is getting the best results. It's because you can play from your hand, you can play from your trash, and you can play from your lives, pretty much. You can control everything that you want to see from these three points. I think... I covered as much as possible, uh, I'm gonna do some cuts and some editing. I know I did not um, read every single effect of every single of these cards. I will leave this, um, this link in the description so you guys can uh, look through it. I decided uh, because many YouTubers are just reading um, the leader's effect and every single card effect here. Uh, and then not going over the strategy as much, I decided to do something different and go over a little bit more on the strategy and then just uh, give you guys examples on combos that you probably will do um, if you play these leaders. And uh, and yeah, so I decided to just do something different. This is for more beginner players that um, if they uh, uh, buy this deck and don't know what to do because they're too new, this is just to give the very basic roots that they will need, you know. Uh, not only that, this is to keep my knowledge in check. So uh, in the future, when I come back to this video, when I have more knowledge on the yellow blue ace, I can, you know, I can bounce off from this video. And uh, to close this off, I just want to say I'm very sorry if I was a bit confusing. Don't be shy to question anything. I'm a better writer. Uh, than a uh, talker when it comes to uh, the English language. <laughs> so th that's it. If you are confused, if you have any of the any question, I can answer. So yeah, I hope you have enjoyed. Uh, this is a 27 minute video. I'll just do some cuts and some ed editing. So it'll go down a bit. Uh, like and subscribe if you like this. And goodbye. Hey, uh, editing Dr. Shambles here. 
I just want to say sorry, I messed up talking about the leader effect of Luffy. Uh, uh, his uh, face-up life cards do not go to the trash, they go to the bottom of the deck. So you cannot revive the cards with Gecko Maria or Rebecca. Uh, but So it is a way to balance the leader. It is still very, very strong. You can still use his ability for easy regeneration and just keep you in the game. I would also like to say sorry because of the the way I explained Rebecca I just pretty much I accidentally skipped through her and but you guys have the um, the screenshot of her card so hopefully you guys just read the effect and you can kind of get a better glance of what I'm talking about after still I can always answer the comments so don't shy away thank you so much goodbye